Yeah, Eric and Riley, let's go ahead and start by setting the scene here. It is now quiet once again as detectives have wrapped up their investigation here on Georgia Drive. But as you're about to hear from that witness, Eric, uh, things were a little noisy even before people could hear gunshots ringing out today. There was only like five people in this whole this whole thing, but it was crazy for about an, for about 45 minutes there. Craig Gillette says he was doing maintenance work at an apartment complex in North Highlands today. This is what he says he saw before a deadly shooting on Georgia Drive just feet away. We saw some girls fighting down there with some guys on the on the property. Um, they were yelling and screaming. The guys kept telling them to leave. Gillette telling us eventually another person got involved. The next thing uh, we see is uh, a guy come out of the trailer house and uh, start start shooting. And uh, to, and it literally everybody scattered. Uh, the girl that was doing all the, the, the yelling and screaming, she fell on the ground. Shortly after, sheriff's deputies were on scene. Trying to figure out what was happening, deputies taking no chances that the shooter may still have been nearby, possibly in a home. Initially, there were some reports that there might be a suspect inside one of the residences. So as you can see, uh, the SWAT vehicles out there, we did have SWAT team out here uh, evacuated a couple of the surrounding homes just as a precaution. The search of the home came back clear, no suspect inside. Investigators then spending the following hours talking to witnesses as they tried to piece together what and why this happened in between an apparent argument with a deadly ending. I don't I didn't think it would happen like this. I didn't think that anything would happen like that. And the sheriff's person that you just heard from in that story says that investigators were able to talk to witnesses. In fact, they believe some of those witnesses uh, were involved involved in this argument that took place before the gunfire, but they did not pass along uh, what but they were able to learn from those individuals in North Highlands covering local news that matters. I'm Eric Rucker, Fox 40 News.